welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to make a video on confidence in the gym. How you can become more confident when you're at the gym and how this can have a positive effect on our performance and overall progression. So I've put together eight tips which I personally use when I go to the gym to make myself more confident. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, ask yourself why or what made you want to go in the first place? What gave you that initial motivation to get up and go? We all have our own reasons, but the underlying reason for everyone is to improve themselves in some way. My second tip for improving your confidence in the gym is having a plan. So as soon as you get there, you know exactly what you're doing. Because if you only have 40 minutes a day to train, then you need to know exactly what you're doing when you're there to utilize the time that you have. This also enables immediate focus and determination to complete the workout to the best of your ability. And another pro to having a plan is that you're not just walking around the gym aimlessly. Having a plan will give you more time and confidence to get your workout done, so plan ahead. If you're struggling with what to do in regards to training plans, there's hundreds and hundreds of plans available for free to view online. However, if you want something more tailored and personal to your goals, then seek a personal trainer or a strength and conditioning coach to create you your own individual program. And they should recommend the best workout routines to suit you and your goals and also support you throughout your journey. Tip number three, set yourself goals. Once you've found a plan that works for you, you need to set yourself tailored and achievable goals. Personally, when I do this, I use a SMART goal principle. So S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, and T for time bound. And if these are applied correctly, the SMART theory is actually really effective. However, one thing to be careful of when you are setting goals is to be unrealistic and not being precise in your goals. And once you achieve your goal, whether this is to run 5K on the treadmill, deadlift your body weight, this will give you a sense of accomplishment and that will further give you more confidence to continue to progress. Tip number four, track your progress. Now this is really, really important. As tracking your workouts will visually allow you to see your progression that you're making and see over time how your level of performance is improving. And this is really motivating and can be a great, great confidence booster. How this can be done is by keeping a personal fitness diary, so whether you use notes on your iPhone, you have a pen and paper, either way they're both effective ways of doing it, but by tracking, this is very, very important. Now personally, I use a notes app on my phone as I always have my phone with me. I don't have to remember to take pen and paper, but do whatever suits you best. So writing down how many reps you did that day, or how heavy the weight was, or how far you ran on the treadmill, gives you a target and a goal to improve on the following week. So tracking your progress is really important as it allows you to visually see you are getting better and this acts as another confidence booster. Tip number five, now this is one of the most important ones in my opinion, is to forget everyone else in that gym and focus on yourself. One of the worst things we do when we're at the gym is to look around halfway through a workout and compare ourselves to others. This can really affect our confidence, especially if we're insecure about the way we look. So we need to forget what everyone else is doing in the gym and just focus purely on ourselves as it's relevant what anyone else is doing. We are there to better ourselves. So in however long you spend at the gym, focus purely on improving yourself and not what anyone else is doing. Because at the end of the day, did you join the gym to look at other people and compare yourself to other people? No, you didn't. You joined to improve yourself and get better. Just remember that everyone starts somewhere and focus on yourself. Tip number six is having a tunnel vision mindset. So you know why you first started to go into the gym. You have your plan, you're tracking your progress, now you're focusing on yourself, and now you need to execute all of those to the best of your ability. The gym is becoming a bit of a social zone, um, but for that 60 minutes that you spend in there, you need to focus on purely going 100% and performing at the best of your ability. And as soon as you've finished your workout, go and chat to friends, catch up with people, share group workout routines, Listen to what works for other people. As again, all this increases your confidence. But for that 40 to 60 minutes, if that's all you have to train, focus on performing to the best of your ability. Tip number seven is bring a buddy. So find a training partner. And this can be a partner, a family member, a work colleague, an associate from the gym. As having somebody to go to the gym with will increase your confidence because you feel as part of a team, you don't feel like you're there on your own. You may also find that you actually push yourself more because someone has your back if you're performing heavy lifts. 
And there is also somebody there to motivate you every training session. Tip number eight and my final tip is wear clothing which you feel comfortable in. So when picking clothes to wear for the gym, work with your best assets. So for example, if your favorite body part is your arms, then wear a piece of clothing which shows them off. By feeling comfortable in how you look, this will improve your confidence. So just to sum all of that up, my eight tips are, ask yourself why you first started going to the gym, have a plan, set yourself goals, track your progress, forget about everyone else, have a tunnel vision state of mind, bring a buddy, and wear comfortable clothing. And there we have it, my eight tips for improving confidence when you're in the gym. So try them out and see how you get on and let me know what you think by liking and commenting on this video. I hope this video was beneficial and I would really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. More videos will be uploaded soon and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care.